Computer science is a very popular major nowadays. It prepares students majoring in computer science for various careers in the technology sector like software engineer, data science, machine learning, and much more. To enroll in one of these careers, you'll be needing a degree in computer science. And I assume that you pressed on this video because you are a computer science student who is in need of a few tips to help you keep going. No matter how hard computer science is, everyone can make it, but you need patience and dedication. So let us start by listing a few tips that will help you in your computer science journey. If you think that the programming courses you'll get in a computer science major are enough to get you a job after you graduate, then you are completely wrong. The computer science major is a major that requires continuous learning and adaptation to new technologies because it is a field that is evolving non-stop. You can't just learn a concept and stop there because it will be outdated compared to newer technologies. If you took a course about C++, for example, it is not enough to listen to your instructor, solve the exercises in class, and go back home and study the lecture. You have to do something aside if you really want to stand out in this major. Try to find online exercises and solve them, or go on lead code and solve problems. This will train your brain and develop your problem-solving skills, which will give you a huge advantage over your classmates and definitely will help you increase your grades. See, computer science is a major that requires you to learn all by yourself. You can't rely only on your instructors. You can't rely only on your programming courses. You have to study alone. You have to study extra. You have to study more than what your instructor taught you in the session. Also, if you really want to stand out from others, try to go to the course syllabus and see what is the next concept the instructor wants to teach. For example, C++ object-oriented programming. What you'll do is go online and search for a video about this topic and learn it by yourself. Trust me, this is way better than learning in class because you are learning at your own pace and all by yourself. Answer this question. Do you think computer science is enough to get you a job at a big tech company? After what I explained, you should have a clear vision that you need to start studying and learning aside of the courses you are getting. Try to learn a new programming language that will help you develop these skills to land a specific job or learn a new programming concept or algorithm, or build a project or application you always wanted to build and start developing your portfolio. Studying for an exam a day before or even doing your assignments an hour before the due date is a factor that will keep your grades low and won't let you get ahead in computer science. You need to know that this is a major that requires a lot of practice, exercises, and study. You can't just study a day before the exam and do your assignments late at night before due date. This will make you fail the exam as well as fail your assignments, which these assignments should be a bonus grade for you. Do yourself a favor and start studying at least weeks before the exam and do your assignments days before the due date. This will give you time to review your mistakes, sharpen your weak points, and overall get a higher grade on the exam and on the assignments. I'm not saying to spend every second studying and simply not have a life, but if you want better grades, you got to have a better plan than studying in the middle of the night. Computer science courses are often filled with theories more than practice. While theory is the one who helps you build an understanding about a certain topic, it is not enough to make you improve as the computer science student and it won't let you gain experience. Programming lectures often start by the instructor going through the PowerPoint slide and explaining what is written. This is theory. The instructor is basically giving you an idea about what is pointers in C++ for example. How do they work? How you can dereference a pointer? But where is the implementation? Where's the exercises and problems you need to solve in order to understand what is pointers? The instructor may offer you a few exercises, but they're not enough. Don't stop on solving the exercises offered by your instructor. If you recall earlier, I said to go online and search for exercises or lead code problems. And this is what you need to do to get ahead of everyone in computer science. And in order to improve your problem solving skills, you need to work on more and tougher exercises. What's the point of solving the same exercise over and over again? Instead, go challenge yourself to do something harder. To sum this up, apply what you learn, don't stick to theory, it won't make you any better, sure you will get an understanding about how things work, but you'll never discover and experience how to implement it, which is also very important. I know people who switched or dropped out of computer science because they were simply against math. Don't let math be a factor that will make you drop out of computer science. Instead, sharpen your math skills. If you consider math is hard, try to change your viewpoint on it. If you keep telling yourself math is hard and that you will never be able to solve math problems, you'll eventually start doubting your computer science journey. So it started with a small problem of you being annoyed with math 
to a bigger problem of you being totally annoyed in pursuing computer science. Instead of giving up on math, try working hard to be able to get better. Doing that will help you increase your grades in math and pass all math courses and continue your computer science journey. Computer science is one of these majors where you study personally without connecting with others. You need to consider that your instructors are people that have real life experience and connection. They may work in a company you want to work with or can give you insights on how to apply to jobs, what are the skills needed for this job and what you can prepare. In order to have this close connection with your computer science instructor, try to become the best student in their class for example, or during office hours, visit them and network with them. This could really build a long-lasting connection between you and your instructor that you may be in need of their help somewhere in your career. Try also talking with senior computer science students. Maybe ask them for advice about which instructor to take, how they pass a certain course, how they study. They can also give you new ideas about building a certain project or solving a certain exercise. Even if your major is computer science, don't be one of those who sits all day on a computer screen, codes all day and worries more about grades than their social life. Have time for studying and coding, but also have time to go out with friends, partying and having fun and enjoy life as a college student. Alright, that brings us to the end. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it valuable. I also will be very thankful if you comment your thoughts below or give us any advice. Now, I invite you to watch one of these end screens that will appear right now and I hope to see you in one of these videos.